Star, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to show you guys a review on the Canon um, camera EOS Rebel T5i. I just got it uh, in 2014 um, right after Thanksgiving or the week of Thanksgiving. Um, you know, because of Black Friday sales and whatnot. And right now I'm shooting with a Canon L340, which is like um, a handheld camera. But this right here, I have the baby, the the star of the show, um, the Canon, the camera itself. This is the camera body with the lens that it came with, and it's an 18 to 55. So it zooms in and out from 18 is the distance to 55. That's the, the range of the zoom. And so the reason why um, I chose this camera is because it has a front facing viewfinder. Um, before I had the Nikon D90, which is what I've had since 2007, 2008. And I've had this for a long time. The reason why when I was in high school, I was doing photography and I thought if I'm gonna get a digital SLR camera, I'm gonna get a good photography camera with video capability. So I went and I bought the D90, which had video. The only issue was that this digital SLR was the first of its kind on the Nikon line to have video recording capability. With that being said, it can only record for five minutes and it did not have autofocus. So as a makeup YouTuber, like I have struggled. So up until my video where I switched over to this camera, recording was so easy because it focused, it could record for more than five minutes. My other Nikon was overheating and getting this camera was an amazing investment. I love it. It is a little bit too clear sometimes, but um, what I'll do is I'll switch over to this camera so you guys can kind of get a feel of the quality and, um, and yeah, and I'll include some shots with this camera. So let me switch over. So hey guys, I just switched over from the Canon PowerShot 340. This is an, an amazing vlogging camera, so it's like nice and compact. But um, this is what I am shooting with, is the Canon T5i. So um, the price, I got this on Black Friday from Best Buy, I think for like $6.50, it was like 100 off. And right now I just checked the website on bestbuy.com and it's going for $749.99, so $7.50. But, um, like I said before, I really needed a new camera. And what I'm gonna talk to you guys about is from not the techie, geeky side of things. I just wanna talk to you guys um, as a beauty YouTuber if you guys are interested in getting a camera. Because all the reviews that I found were mainly really technical, really um, tech specs, and it was just so hard to follow. I wanted to come on here and just introduce to you guys why I, as Patrick Starr, a beauty vlogger, chose this camera. I chose this camera because it has autofocus, it has a front-facing viewfinder, it can hold, um, my memory card um, can hold a bunch of memory, and it can record up to, I believe, 28 minutes. And if it's um, really large, the camera automatically splits it into two. And the audio is great. I'm recording with the audio from the microphone itself, and it's pretty awesome. I say get the camera. The camera is really cool. Um, in comparison to the other cameras, like the Canon T3i and the T4i, um, my friends have those cameras, and they say that those do not, do not have auto focus. So they both, I know the 3 and the 4 do have the front facing viewfinder, and um, the, my main concern is focus because I hate as a viewer on YouTube when I'm watching videos and then I see this beautiful makeup and then I kind of like look and it's blurry and it just it's just kind of annoying. So if you just um, save up your money and then make that extra investment to um, get the T5i or a camera that does focus automatically, then as a makeup um, a vlogger like you'll do absolutely fine. I was debating on getting the really expensive camera, the cam the Canon 70D that my friend Alex Faction has and Jaclyn Hill, but um, I was comparing those two, the Canon 70D, which I will show right here, and then my camera, the Canon T5i, the only difference that I saw as far as recording, specifications, um, just details on between the two cameras is that 
the body is a lot stronger so it is of a heavier material and then this T3i is a plastic body but um, that doesn't bother me and then also um, the focus point so when you look into your camera when you're taking pictures or when you're doing video there are different focus points on the little viewfinder where the camera will choose to focus I believe this one has 15 focus points so in the camera it focuses on 15 certain places so if you're either going to take a photo or a video it has 15 options and also if you're shooting like um fast um sports or something it shoots up to seven frames per second my camera the t5i shoots five frames per second and it only has nine focus points so the difference isn't really i i literally looked at the specs the specifications side by side so i looked at the 70t and then i looked at my camera the t5i and i literally went down and i compared each of them and those se those to me seem to be the only differences but um other than that i love the camera when i first got the camera the camera was um brand new and then i was really excited to record and then um what i didn't realize is that the old memory cards that I used to use for my Nikon, um, since the video um, recording capabilities were so, so weak, is that um, the memory cards really didn't matter. So in upgrading to a really, really high def camera like the T5i, I had to have a really, really strong memory card. So every time, um, the first time I was confused as to why my camera kept shutting down is because the weak memory card couldn't handle the high definition footage. So what I would recommend to you is to get a um, SD Sans disk strong um, memory card. I'll insert a picture right here of what my memory card looks like and it is 64 gigs and I got it at Costco for $50. You know I love me some Costco. It's an amazing, an amazing steal um, and it's an amazing quality most of all because you want your videos to look fresh and crisp and you want it to hold um, a decent amount of footage when you guys are filming like a let's say a drag tutorial or something that's really long so other than that I love that it auto focuses I love how it has the front the front facing viewfinder I love how it um, is very high quality and it's a great price compared to the other camera so the T5i is like that good um, middle camera because the other ones before don't autofocus and the other ones are really pricey and there's not much of a difference as far as what I need as a YouTuber um, that does makeup. So I hope this review was um, helpful to you. I hope it wasn't too long. I hope you guys um, get this camera or I hope this answered some of your questions that that need answering and I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Also, oh, what is it? T5, oh, the T, the, the T5i, the T5i, I mean, has a plastic body. Move the shot behind it. Mm. Okay. Ooh. Other than that, I love my T5i. It autofocus, autofocuses. <laughs> <coughs> my throat. Okay. Before, um, I believe nine or something like that, and then the other T5i, 